You're watching Telecom TV from Tip Summit 2019 in Amsterdam. And joining me now is Miguel Marin, who's Technology Director at Vodafone. Miguel, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Good to meet you. Miguel, what is Vodafone's interest in Open RAN and how is it going to help you? Okay. Well, certainly, uh, as I mentioned in my presentation, we believe that Open RAN is a fantastic opportunity because it's a new ecosystem. It can help us, you know, reach places that we couldn't reach, you know, with our traditional uh, deployments and also add value because this is also about innovation. It's about, you know, new technologies. So we're pretty excited about it. So where has Vodafone been conducting its Open RAN trials? Well, actually, uh, we announced today we have trials in six of our markets ranging all the way from Northern Europe you know, to South of Africa. We have trials ongoing in Turkey, Mozambique, Congo, Ghana, and now in Europe, Ireland, and the UK. So we're pretty excited that we are covering not only deep rural, but also urban environments. And have you any updated news to report from these trials? Oh, absolutely. I think I shared in my presentation today KPIs. So anybody who uh, has worked in a network environment you know, knows that KPIs is actually a synonym that you, know, you have a real thing working you know, in real life. So we are very excited about that. I have shown KPIs of our uh, trial in Turkey. We have 25 base stations live with 2G, 3G, 4G technologies across five frequency bands. And we have real customers you know, using Open RAN. Looking at alternative solutions, is there really a business case for HAPS, the high altitude platforms? And how is Vodafone getting involved? Okay, very interesting. So obviously HAPS you know, stands for high altitude platforms. We call it non-terrestrial solutions. And it's you know, about coverage provided from platforms like drones or balloons of you know, different shapes and forms. And also constellations of you know, low orbit satellites. So we are very excited because these solutions complement you know, the terrestrial solutions with terrestrial solutions, it is difficult to reach 100% of the population of a market. With these non-terrestrial solutions, we can actually do that. And I think this is exciting for us as a company because you know, it fits very well our purpose of connecting you know, uh, people and improving the lives of people. Uh, but it's also very interesting from you know, many other dimensions, like you know, think of the, uh, from a political dimension, if you can offer emergency services across your full territory, right? full coverage. And that's a very interesting. Last year at the TIP Summit, we heard a little about the Vodafone CrowdCell project group and solution. Vodafone's now demonstrating a 5G CrowdCell here at this year's summit. What exactly is it and how could it be deployed? That is correct. Uh, we're very proud and very excited. CrowdCell is a small cell that can be um, based on the open brand principles that can be backhauled, you know, either with traditional backhaul or using a macro cell. Uh, so either using 4G or 5G backhauling. Uh, we think that it will extend, you know, very nicely the coverage of our macro sites and will also offer opportunity to uh, drive value at the edge of our networks by putting applications on top of the radio software. And what's your message to the wider ecosystem? Are they actually listening to your needs and requirements? What more do they need to do to help you achieve your aims? So my message to the ecosystem will be, first of all, that you know, it is happening, that I think that all the operators presenting today you know, gave a clear message that you know, we are willing to deploy at a scale. Of course, you know, what we need from the ecosystem is they continue working on giving us you know, the products and the roadmaps that we need to be able to evolve you know, from rural to dense urban environments. But, you know, we believe that this is happening and what we ask the ecosystem is to continue pushing to make the whole ecosystem interoperable, which is another very key um, element of this ecosystem, and, you know, and, and watch you know, how we grow together. Miguel, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure.